Greetings gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Modding Skyrim Special Edition. This is the 8th episode if I'm correct, we are doing everybody's favorite, fixing the stability of this broken ass game. Sometimes it doesn't just work. I'm gonna show you in this video how to fix your stability furthermore. Skyrim Agent is known to be very crappy. Unless you want a game to run like the last CPU survivor, you better as well start getting some stability mods. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, comment, it makes it easier for people to find my videos and it also motivates me to do even more. One of the very first mods we're going to get, it's actually pretty new, is the Spaghetti's Shortest Times. This name is absolutely beautiful and what this one is doing, it overhauls Ravenrock while it is FPS friendly and I am going to test it out and if this feels uh, FPS friendly I might as well go and get most of his uh, city overhauls but for now I'm going to get this one the next mod I like to use is called Lightning Skyrim and if you can see here in some of the screenshots it is absolutely looking the exact same it just removes very few things your eye can barely notice and it saves you FPS so go ahead and get Lightning Skyrim as well let's do both uh, let's do that one as well. So the next one we will get is Vanilla Script Micro Optimization. It does exactly what the name implies. Go ahead and grab this. Next one we're getting the Vanilla Scripting Enhancements. Exactly what the previous mod does and those mods work together. Rob bug fixes and X edit scripts. It fixes specific locations with some weird scripts or some rendering issues when it comes to Skyrim that again you will never notice that they exist. I've personally noticed again of 1 or 2 FPS but some people claim that there is a bigger one. So grab this one and here is a beautiful list of things and messes that have been cleaned. We've got some of them and since I see Andromeda, let's actually go and grab Andromeda. What Andromeda does it enhances the... how does it even called in Skyrim? Oh, the Standing Stones. When it comes to Skyrim, it gives them different talents, it makes it interesting. You can go around and play around it, grab this one. And you do lose some FPS because of some scripting issues, so go ahead on top of that and grab the Andromeda Clean Textures as well. Go ahead and grab the Grass FPS Booster, another beautiful mod that fixes the grass. It comes down to how you like your game. I like my game having more than 55 or close to 60 fps all the time and when i have 60 fps with the current grass remaining and everything like that the game feels amazing as it is if you don't like this one you can test on your own you can remove it if you like click the quality and if you're struggling too much you can always go for the performance and I click and select no for that. Many of the grass mods looking absolutely amazing unless you're having a crazy strong PC that costs 5 figures or something crazy like that. I would recommend you to avoid installing that many grass mods and tree mods and things like that. There is no need for that, it's more of a flex if that makes sense. I like to use the get on with it. I don't find it that cool when NPCs go around and do the animation and go through doors. I like when they just go inside the doors. I don't think we have an animation that fixes this specific animation to make it more dynamic. So I will go ahead and grab this one. Glorious doors and static mess improvement. I like to use the survival mode improved. What this mod does is enhances survival mode to a way where it reduces the scripts the mod runs. So I will recommend if you have survival mode Go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and grab this file right here. It's a patch hub that fixes some issues when it comes to obsidian fox. It's going to increase the FPS. There is so many patches here you can find. Pretty cool patches that many mods don't really include. Grab the obsidian mountain fox fix. Go ahead here and grab the misc. Static Mesh Improvement fixes as well. Some things that Static Mesh Improvement kinda missed. Got the fix not icon for Sky UI. It's kind of a weird bug and issue that fixes the icon that is. Go and grab this one or the version you're running. We're running again 1.597. I love this one right here because it has a bunch of patches for things that nobody else is covering. Like Thalmor don't report to storm clocks. A very small immersive uh, fix in the game. That this fixes the scripts for a bunch of things we're using. Go all the way down you can find a bunch of mods that exist that I myself need to go and grab here. And we're going to do this together. First of all, improved companions quest line tweaks. And it's a nice mod. It fixes a very minor thing. And we kinda want most of those. I like this one as well. The Vampire Ally faction tweaks. 
specific type of creatures cannot attack each other like skeletons and death hounds it adds so much more immersion and i know this is not stability but it kind of counts when it comes to fixing the game go ahead and grab that one as well an extremely small mod fixes a minor bug with this quest stupid mod i know but this changes the falmer blood leak so do you remember this stupid quest from rundolf here it's kind of cute i haven't found to this day anything that retextures this one you will only notice it only once in your whole life just go ahead and grab it also go and grab the 2k textures because why not if you're going to see this once in your life you better as well see it go and grab the better winter helm ground messes uh, fixes some ground messes as you can see here very underrated mod really it makes it so much better and we're gonna grab a bunch of those we're not using any of those so go ahead and grab just the main file here go and grab thalmor don't report storm clocks because it makes so much sense Go ahead and grab the first file. Go ahead and grab rock traps, trigger fixes. It makes it where they don't automatically get down to you. And also get the, the motionless rocks killing people out of nowhere. Do you see this extremely small detail that is missing from this stupid hat? I've noticed it and I absolutely hate it. Go ahead and fix that by downloading the farm hat clipping fix. All of those mods, you can have as many as you want, they will cost you no FPS. If anything, if you combine all of those, they will save FPS, they will create immersion, they will make your game better. This is what modding Skyrim is about. Same idea here with the racked hat, go ahead and get that one as well. And improves close fade helmets, a bunch of fixes, clipping issues, things like that. I hate those so much. So let's go ahead and grab that on top of the one we're already using. Go ahead and grab chicken replacer. This is going to replace the chicken to look a much more better one. Chickens do absolutely nothing. Get this one too, which is going to add variety when it comes to looking at dead chickens and corpses in Skyrim. Go and grab this one too. It's going to use the Mikhail textures and also grab the clean and optimized textures as well. So we managed to completely fix the chickens when it comes to Skyrim. I like the house cuts. It adds uh, small kitties in areas. They absolutely cost nothing to have that. I just love this one so much. This little emote adds a lot to the game. Go ahead and grab this one if you want small kitties around your place. This one are bottom guards from Morrowind in Southern's time. That's pretty much it. This also is a nice patch to have where the guards can appear like the dead chicken hiding around. Small things like that is what I like when it comes to immersion. When I grab this one and I'm going to grab the first file and we're going to visit Ravenrock to see how the spaghetti overhaul looks like. And the smallest thing in the world would change is a name issue when it comes to those. If you're just going to fix that, grab the sound reduction because they sound way too loud as well. I like this one because if you go naked, the guards will actually come and arrest you and they will chase you around, which adds again to the immersion of the game. Go and grab the Skyrim 3D high rotor steps. It just makes the high rotor steps look 3D. It doesn't work with the better roads and all of the road mods we've installed, so go and grab this one as well. Go for the small environmental fixes for a bunch of different areas as well. You see some of those are looking really bad and it fixes a lot of those. So go ahead and grab that as well. Small mods like those add a lot to the game. Water douse is fire. It's kind of sad that those mods don't have much more support really, but it makes it where when a dragon's breath fire on you, you can actually go under water. It actually takes the fire off. That's exactly what it says. And because we're using MCO, aka Modern Combat Overhaul, the problem is that Modern Combat Overhaul it does not apply speed changes to the weapons. So mods like those are going to save you lots of crashes and issues happening that many people don't really know that they exist in the game. Go ahead and now and grab this one right here. Since we've installed everything or most of the things we need, go and install the script edits as well. Let's go and grab Arctic. It's the best frost overhaul when it comes to spells. Go ahead and grab Ultimate Fire Effect, Electrify, and install all of those. We're going to cancel the installation here, but we're gonna come back to this one and reinstall it. Go for the 2K version here, grab the Arctic at 2K as well, and go for Ultimate Fire too, and go for ENB Light, go for the 2K resolution. I like the Fantasy Tone. You know what? Go for the small one because it's better. And go for the no pads as well. Because those will look extremely weird if we don't have the pads for frostbite. And I've tried to use it, but it doesn't really work that well. So go without it. Go ahead and grab Calm Down Valkyrie, which is a quest you do with the spray guns. After he goes outside the cave, he just starts attacking everything. Bodies burn brightly with fire, and it does not add scripts as well. It's scriptless. 
So I'll go ahead and grab this one. Go and grab Narc as well. This is going to make it where killing an animal is not going to make the whole city trying to impale you on a cross. So I'll go ahead and grab this one since we are missing it. Let's go and restore for the last time the patch here and we should pretty much have most of the choices we on. Go and install that. It's going to automatically select your patches. If not, you can check them again. That's for different type of mods as you can see. Birds of Skyrim is kinda weird to explain but it doesn't really work. And this is ISC for Immersive Sound Compendium. Just go ahead and continue with those. We don't care about those mods, we care about this one which is the one we have. And we should be able to select most of those that we are using. That should do it for all of the patches now. Ice Wrath Teeth Collision Fix. The item when you loot it, it doesn't have any collision at all. Since we are fixing the smallest things, grab this one too. So I like this model here, it's called Marmalure. Because it has a bunch of small mods that we kinda need. And we've got the Odin uh, Misk Fix. I like this mod because it adds wells in town and since we are not using that many uh, city overhauls i think this is a very nice mod to have if you have the sun help go and grab this if you don't you don't really need it grab the main file and if you go and grab the optional file it's down to you go ahead and grab those two as well the animated forge water animates the forge water it makes it really nice we don't have embers xd so you don't need to worry about this is why i'm using embers hd because it's better when it comes to Cove links with other mods. Go and grab also the waters in wells. It looks pretty cool actually and sick. I like this one because it has a unique golden glow estate pathing. So if you want to actually stealth, you don't have to swim and things like that. Small things like that that will change the gameplay when it comes to your game. Oh, Ladders of Skyrim. Let's actually grab Ladders of Skyrim. Go ahead and grab the Ladders of Skyrim. Absolutely beautiful mod. It has a bunch of light sources or ladders, I mean everywhere throughout Skyrim and there is a bunch of patches this has been recently updated so grab this one and since we're grabbing Golden Glow Estate grab the optional file and grab the main file we also have this one right here various patches for AI overhaul bunch of terrain fixes and small things like that only get the AI overhaul one and the main file and after a bunch of those we're going to launch Skyrim and see if everything is alright Another nice mod that fixes some empty landscapes in Solitude where they look absolutely weird. It is not really going to cost you any FPS, it is just a, the smallest thing in the world. This one is something I like as well. It fixes the oversized bridges across Skyrim. And go and grab the EFPS patch and this one too. This also is a nice, another little nice mod that touches small bridge into Nilheim root pass. And lastly, let's go and grab the official EFPS patches and install that as well, which I forgot to do in the previous episode. Go ahead and also grab the Icy Wrath Teeth. We're gonna grab a bunch of those, improves again the animations and how some of those small items look like. We need to grab this one for a patch we need to get for the collision, if you remember this patch as well. So we're using Ebert's HD, we're just going to stay with Ember's HD. So here is a bunch of things, we're not using Parallax on anything. Make sure you haven't selected Parallax. No, we don't need that because the first one is going to draw FPS. Never install extra NPCs into your Skyrim, it's going to break your game. Uh, continue here. Even though we're not using that, we're going to remove it later on. Yeah, select the ring patch, we're going to remove things here and there. We're not using any of those. So go ahead here and we'll have to remove a bunch of missing masters here. We need to remove all of those because we'll get those later on. Most of those mods, I just want to have those installed so I don't really need to go back and reinstall the mod. Go ahead and launch loot and let's sort our lord order. I'm very sure something is going to be dirty here and I'm not including my room. But it looks like we're actually fine. Okay, that was very impressive. I'm just testing a bunch of new presets I have found. Let's go with that, that's kind that cool. I like this one because it looks like a snow whale. Again, it's kinda over the top, but I'm just testing things. Oh, this is gonna be definitely... It's gonna look tough. The landing of the ship. Just wait for it. It looks pretty fine yeah. so far. Oh boy, oh boy. Just be careful here. Uh, I think I've seen this bug before. I'm not going to touch my mouse again. I'm just gonna wait for this ship to land before something goes bad. Okay, Robin Rock discovered, thank god we've made it. Eh, uh, looks, looks alright. Let's see how the frames play. I don't recognize you. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. There's no clipping ask? issues. Yes. Uh, let's now remove the, the hat. 57 and 59. Even with the small uh, things added here and there. And here are the chickens. 
Oh, they look cute. So 59, I pretty much noticed no FPS loss at all. The true test will come once we install the lighting modes. We have 56 and 55 before, now we're at 58. I mean, I'm sure we just uh, gain... Oh, there's a kitty by the way, look at the kitty. Look at the nice, cute kitty. You can actually get a mod to allow you to pat those. So if we get close to 50, and I'm sure this mist should be very taxing. Uh, not really, 50 FPS with uh, this heavy mist around. If you see slightly uh, frame drops when we're turning, that's normal for Skyrim. If you see any other frame drops, that's because of my recording that I'm messing up. But again, the goal is to have at least, once we get to 2000 plugins, to have our game to run to 55 with 50 FPS. Imagine that most of the console players play with 30 FPS in modern standards and games. I do like the mist to be honest, it's a thing from the Cathedral Weathers, which as you can see, you don't require that many mods to change your game, just a single good weather mode that is Cathedral Weathers is enough to change your game and makes it feel so much more interesting with all of those different weathers. Look how beautiful White Run looks, again, we will fix the moss, we will fix some of the plants and the, and the trees and the grass here and there, like all of the flowers, all of those will fix them. We're going to add... Oh, little kitty. That's cute. We're going to fix some of, so many of those mates. Oh, look at that. We can actually see how the... Oh, it is fixed, the hat. I don't know if you can see it, but the gap is not there. The only thing that's gonna look ugly in our game is going to be the load. But we can actually fix that too later on. That being said, this guy looks like Jesus. FPS, which is really nice. This mode, you can go to the innkeeper of every inn. It's very easy to install. It doesn't have any conflicts. And you can select the option. I'm looking for a carriage driver and he's going to bring you on after waiting a bit and you can actually select this and go to any city by paying. Uh, it's a mod that I really like. Uh, if you have any issues with this, it has to do with all of the custom areas and things like that, so you can grab this. Uh, another mod I like is the Khajiit Haswares. This came uh, not very long ago and it overhauls the Khajiit stores. It makes it uh, so much more cool and interesting. It works with the project Kaza that we've installed. Okay, grab the caravan malls. So go ahead and grab this one. It's going to add on caravans uh, malls like this that did not use before. Go and grab this one and also go and grab the main file. It's very immersive mod actually, trust me on that. And then we're gonna go and get the texture mode. It does also a variety when it comes to the different molds. Uh, looks add on patch, grab this one. Oh my god, oh there's so many patches here. Okay, let me actually get this one. We're going to get all of those, uh, grab the main file and install all of those, including the patches. Go and grab, first of all, I think it's called Pelta Hoose or something. It pretty much fixes the texture in all of the belts when it comes to the rugs. Get this one right here and then go to rugs. I think it should be rugs. This has an MCM menu that, of course, it adds detailed rugs, but it also makes them where they look scrapped as well. And you can fix that. There's some cool options here and there. That was the other one I was missing. It fixes all of the rugs and it uses those textures as well. Go always for 2K. Let's grab Read the Room Immersive and Animated Helmet Management. This mod adds the option that it works for pretty much every helmet in the game. And you can fix the adjustment where with the press of key band you can grab your helmet and you can wear it in combat. If let's say you want to, you can have your helmet off before entering a city or have your helmet on when you enter into a city and it plays an animation where your character picks the helmet and he puts it on and it's absolutely a beautiful mod. Grab the keyboard item distribution. Go ahead and grab the merge mapper as well. It's one of the requirements for this engine to work or this mod. And nice for headhunter. Cool, let's get that one as well. Why not? Go and grab this one. Adds physics when it comes to the equipments on top of you. Really nice mod. There is the immersive equipping animation where you put armors on your character, you change, you know, helmets, things like that. It plays a nice and really cool animation. I absolutely love mods like those. Just grab the main file here. Extremely small mods as we enhance kinda how the visuals look. Go and grab Volcaris. It's a new mod that came out which completely changes the sound of conjuration spells. You can check it out. Those sound so clean and nice. I would recommend you get the non-interactive uh, version on detail rug. Go for the selected one. Remove this one and go for the normal quiver. I like when the quiver is like this and not on the side. I like the tight version so everything doesn't go around like crazy. 
easy. Go ahead and grab Falkyrie the Border Rock fix, which fixes a small issue with the rock in Falkyrie. That's the smallest thing in the world. Lastly, go ahead and grab this patch right here for Ordinator and MCO which fixes some of the speed the issues happening when it comes to Ordinator and Modern Combat Overhaul. Go ahead and grab this one right here, Papyrus Lot Fix for this specific mod if you have this one. So now you can fast travel inside the inns to call the caravan, you can fast travel using the signpost, so we even have the different way shrines to fast travel. Lastly, go to Ausana's assorted patches and grab the patches we need, which is the Cutting Room Immersive Weapons Overhaul. Go and grab Dwemer Gates Don't Reset, really nice mod where they don't automatically lock when you open those so there isn't even a new version too and from the patch hub we're going to grab this one too relationship dialogue overhaul get this one too and survival mode crispy doubling pads i think i have this one this one right here as well which makes overhauls the dumplings in the game kind of cool cooking oven pads 3D cooking. Go and grab 3D cooking, which apparently it's a requirement for some mods to take place. Grab the 3D cooking, grab the ESL version of the dappling pads, and also grab the 3D cooking pads and install both of those. And last, let's install all of the assorted patches here. Many patches for various different mods. Go ahead and grab them. And lastly, since we're doing this, go ahead and grab the animated card canopy, which adds animation to the canopy of the cards. And I guess you can use the detailed carriages too, which changes how the carriages look, because it works with those. So grab those, they are on 2TK textures, so nothing too taxing when it comes to your system. And grab this one, just a random <laughs> graphic overhaul here. Go ahead and grab the fairy overhaul here. Go ahead and get the fixes pads, lanterns of Skyrim. And that should do it. Don't go for this one, go for the static mess improvement pads. And that should help with the with the carriages. Go and grab white run objects and fixes that make some objects in white run just look much better without having any performance loss. Then go and grab the infamous barter limit fix. Go and grab snip movement speed fix, another infamous and horrible bug that has been fixed, very similar to the Sith animation fix as well. And this is an early master version of the speed for footprints, it lets other NPCs have footprints. Go ahead and grab player footprints fix as well. And go and grab this one, which works for the latest version of footprints. Go and grab Rift and Temple uh, Scorn fix fixes one of the smallest statue issues, like one of those levitating in Rift and very unlore friendly and unimmersive. Go and grab natural waterfalls, which also includes ENB light fixes too for the bright waterfall fix. Next, Dragon Mount Dirt Fix, self explanatory, it looks weird, we don't like that. Go ahead and grab that, it says that you will need this file as well. Go ahead and grab Wow Dragon Mount's Crash Fix. Yeah, get this one, and as we get this one, go ahead and grab the optional file and the main file on Dragon Mount Fix as well. So, we grab the proof, Dwemer Glass, grab both of the optional files and the main file. We'll require this to work for another patch later on. The Golden Dwemer Pipeworx redone and grab the first optional file with the hotfix, the one for the improved Dwemer glass and the 2k textures as well. Then go ahead and grab Markath fixed AF, similar with the previous mode, fixes some of the issues and messes in Markath since we will be using most of the vanilla assets anyway. And then go ahead and grab the Markath fix, the Golden Dwemer Pipeworx patch as well. And only grab the no parallax version fix too. In case you haven't noticed guys, we're fixing everything in this video. An extremely small fix, but also really nice for drivers. Uh, it fixes some of the sound issues. If you read the description, you don't face this, don't install it. But I had this issue happen to me at least uh, three or four times. So I'm gonna grab this. Then you have the Magic Student Quest fix. It fixes a very weird micro thing that happens in College of Winterhold. I don't know what's wrong with this place. It's extremely buggy, but I guess that's every place when it comes to Skyrim. Let's go for the normal 2K textures here. Okay, go and grab all of those. Next, let's go to actually flatter snow drifts that fixes some of the snow drifts that kind of look really scuffed and weird in Skyrim. We're using majestic mountains. Fix all of those without parallax, that is. Go for the quest conflicts fixes, uh, just for a small quest that nobody really cares about. Again, we're getting every single small thing fixed here. Go and get the ghost pile steam fix for Skyrim for participants. 
pads. We have the rift and rack flag on flickering light fix which is very unimmersive and weird. It's when the light is broken and goes like crazy. Go ahead and grab this as well. Go ahead and grab landscape mountain fix from majestic mountains. It even has an FPS boost, an extremely small one and fix some of the issues that not only drain too much ramp but they also look very weird as well go and grab this one as well it fixes some of the savant mess fixes too and now we have uh, three mods to install first of all skyrim object this word which i cannot say it fixes again some of the messes in those objects go and grab this then go and grab silver and skyrim objects different type of objects it fixes some of the torch and candles as well it fixes the messes and the polygons in those Make sure you have all the requirements which we do if you follow this video and lastly the silver object for Sovan Garden, Thieves Guild and Vampire objects, all of them completely fixed. And lastly we're going to get the Skyrim upper furniture and other fixes as well. Go for the 2k matches, so grab the main file here, grab the optional file for silver objects and the jeweled goblet uh, fix as well and install all of those. Go and grab our vein texture fix, a uh, very simple mode. Fixes some of the weird again visual bugs when it comes to veins and the texture it has. Go and grab landscape and water fixes for cutting room as well. Fix some of the mesh in skivers when they look like a ball like this. None of those is going to require or take FPS from your game. It's extremely small fix. The white iron fence base steam fix as well. Look at this atrocity and look at this mod does to it. The same thing here as well, I hate when this happens and this one fixes it. We have the true directional movement lock fixes which makes some a weird bug happening with some specific creatures when you lock on them. Go ahead and grab the mammoth file, the ice rate file and the breeze frag file. Go and grab the thief skill dialogue fix which fixes some weird issues happening with thief skill. Smallest wind hell mess fixes, we love the smallest things here, go and grab that as well. Go and grab the Vigilant ENB lights on chest, which sometimes you're gonna have this weird bug going on with chest in Vigilant. If you play this mod, I have encountered that. This fixes that, this specific mod. Go and grab the smooth cam and the textometer crash fix, which sometimes will occur. Get the bug fix for Thunderbolt impacts. Really nice mod that fixes some of the visual weirdness happening when you're using thunder spells or lightning spells. But it grabs Sovan Guard and it adds a bunch of really cool locations and I don't think there is any mod that does that. But this mod makes Sovan Guard a really nice experience to explore. Go and grab the second optional file and the first file. If you don't use Creation Club content, grab the third file as well. Lastly, we have the first person target locking system fix. When you lock something in first person, it, for some reason it targets the air. But with this fix, it actually targets the things. You want to kill? Go ahead and grab that. Last but not least, we have Aquaphobia. It's the most recent, the best mod I found without any script. Creatures, monsters, NPCs will actually follow you in water. And there is a bunch of patches here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of those because I do use that Creation Club content too. And you can go and grab the Animals Can Swim, sort of. It's a really cool mod. And lastly we go for the Rainbows Remade, which grabs the Rainbow mode if you remember that. And because the Rainbow mode had some really weird issues, even crash and drop frames, this one grabs this and remakes the whole script where it plays so much better and so much smoother. So first of all, we need to get the 2K version and go and grab the hotfix patch as well. So install the main version and install the hotfix as well. And that should do it for those mods, so let's go ahead and install them. Go also and grab this script optimization tool that helps with some specific scripts and you can see the movement here when it comes to some specific bandit phonic in some locations. Go also and grab the dragon actor script infinite loop fix. We're going to grab two dialogue modes. First of all, go and grab instantly skip dialogue. You can just skip some dialogues that you have done for hundreds of times so you don't have to wait and waste time. Also go and download allow dialogue progress bug fix. Sometimes when you talk to an NPC or interact and start a dialogue multiple times, you're gonna have a weird bug where the dialogue doesn't really work and this one aims to fix it. Go also and grab Elspern Voice Consistency Fix. Grabbing one of those super small mods and install them all at once. We are really fixing the game. Go also and grab Honorful Orphanage, Bug Fixes and Expansion. 
This is not in the bug fix category, but I'm going to post this link right here to this website. Go ahead and grab this file. What this file does, it reinhances the footsteps and to this day, this is the very best footstep sound overhaul. The difference with this footstep uh, overhaul is that if you're walking or running in the grass or in wooden surface or rocks, you're gonna have different sounds playing and depending on the armor you are wearing, if you are wearing no armor, light armor, cloth armor, heavy armor, you're gonna listen to a bunch of different footstep sounds. I'm gonna play slightly a bit of this so you guys can hear it. So you hear how the sound changes from the grass into the road. Here to this transition from grass to wooden surfaces. So go ahead and place this to your motor organizer of your choice. We also have the brutal bow sounds, which is super cool actually. Again, not hot fix or anything, but why not? Let's go ahead and grab this. Go ahead and grab Apocrypha Exit Bug Fix. I had this bug play literally every time I went to Apocrypha. And what it does, when you're about to exit and grab your buff and move with your life, sometimes the game will not let you do that because of a weird script running in the back and it will take you few minutes to get out of Apocrypha. This fixes it. I love mods like this and I'm going to grab that as well. Go ahead and grab the load unloading bug fix. Go ahead and grab rustic windows, which is going to fix the window lighting as well. Next, go ahead and grab Whiskey Hall of the Dead stained glass windows, which fixes a small thing here with the glass windows. That was before and that's after. Extremely small but effective mod. The same thing here with Winterhelm, fake windows fix, that's usually how windows look, but I like the attention to detail here. So go ahead and grab this. We're not using any of those, so go ahead and just grab the very first file. Go and also and grab the Windows Shadows RT, which completely overhauls every single window in the game, and it's going to make your game look absolutely beautiful, buffing the interiors, costing you no FPS whatsoever. It's gonna make exploring places and dungeons so much better. Go also and grab the bright snow fix for ENB. The snow looks way too cartoonish with ENBs and this one aims to fix that. Also go and grab these lost mess fix for a bunch of different modes. Go ahead and get the HD load textures. I'm not using Dynalot at the moment. So for now I'm going to grab the standard version. Which is not really that costly and it fixes some of the loads in the game. Delizios mess fix for a bunch of different modes. Get this one right here. Go for Noble Scary Material Fix and go for... And also go and grab the Solitude Clover Remover as well. So let's go and grab this one. Go for the Enhancer, it looks so much better. I don't like the brighter ones. I like the light fading too. Go for None because if you're using an ENB you don't need the light fader too. We're not using Cities of the North or any of those. So go Finish, go click Finish and that should do it. Go also ahead and grab the Vanilla and Morning Fox Easy Steam Fixer. Go ahead and grab Winterhold statue animated with ENB lights. Go ahead and grab the white run mess fixes, a bunch of small fixes in white run buildings. Very small one, but it works amazingly with the ones we've got. And there is even empaths for the Whiskey Hall of the Dead we've got previously. So go ahead and grab both of those. Mark at a reflective experience. You don't lose FPS with those, but it just boosts some NVP maps where it makes it. Mark art can be reflective sometimes, and it's. A little nice neat mode to have. Next we have the wise man's flora fix revamped for a bunch of different flora here and there. The optional file here and the second main file here. Go ahead and grab the first special sneak drive Hulk starter fix. Go also and get Ellis Atrocious Drift and Retexture fix for some of the weird things that they were not there before or some textures that kinda look weird as you can see here. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch of fixes here and there. First of all, go ahead and grab Ruin Clutter Improved Fixes. Go ahead and grab Azura Shrine Temple Skyrim Special Edition. It completely overhauls the Azura Temple that I haven't seen any other mod does it where it feels like a small place and you can also update that later on. Grab the main file here and go also to Skyrim Fixes Collection that has a specific patch for Azura Temple and grab that one as well. Closing this video, you're going to go Lost, Lost of Skyrim, and this one has a bunch of different patches to this day updated. Those two are going to be our last file, is the Ancient Dwemer Metal and the Lost of Skyrim. So what we're going to do, we will grab a bunch of the mods on the requirement sections, a bunch of mods that I've missed, and Lost of Skyrim will also expand by having those mess fixes and similar mods we've installed. Go ahead and grab the 3D manhole. 
Go ahead and grab GS Dwemer Ichor Barrels, which makes the Ichor Barrels look absolutely amazing. Go ahead and grab Dwemer Goggles, it's an armor mod, but I'm having a surprise for you. Go ahead and grab that, and uh, go to this Patreon page, and this is for free. You will get this nice overhaul of the Dwemer Googles to look like this. It's absolutely beautiful. You can go for the standard version too, so you can have both of the Dwemer Googles if you like that. And grab the 3D manhole, Skyrim sewers, setters and doosers, and season of Skyrim. All of those patches, and go and grab the third one. I just like it because it has much more rust, as sewers should have. Go and grab the Dwemer Google standalone version, and now you're gonna have two versions of those. Go ahead and grab the GS Atomen Sphere, which makes the Atomen Spheres look absolutely gorgeous. And grab both of the files. Go ahead and grab the GS Dwarven Oil, which again reinhances this and makes it look so much better. All of those small mods. And go for the first file GS Dwemer Artifact. Go ahead and grab GS Dwemer Artifacts Glow Map. It does glow maps to all the artifacts, make them glow, and it looks so cool with the NB and the lighting mods we will have. Get the GS Dwemer Control Cube. It makes the control cubes look absolutely fantastic. And again, we have Dwemer Glass Pad. Grab the optional file and grab the 2K texture file as well. Go ahead and grab the GS control cube, but this time it's glow map. It's gonna add glow maps on it. It's going to override the previous mode. Go ahead and grab GS Dwemer Puzzle Cube as well. Again, grab the Dwemer Puzzle Cubes, but it adds glow maps on them. Go ahead and get the GS Extractor that you will find only once, and why not make it look absolutely beautiful? We have the GS Utopia Daggers, which absolutely overhauls the daggers, some Dwemer Daggers and some other daggers too. Only go and grab the 2K texture file. Go and grab the Metallurgy Ingons or in Veins. It overhauls them, makes them look very sexy. Go for the 2K version here. Go and find the rune coins. It's extra coins that you can loot and you can sell those. Uh, I love this mod because it gives you this idea that you collect new stuff and it refreshes the game. Go for the Zephyr Redone, it makes Zephyr look so much more cooler. And just go for the Zephyr Redone vibe. This comes from original Skyrim, but the mod author says that he uses some of the textures of this mod to override the, the ones before. So go ahead and grab all of the 2K texture files for the different things we need. Go for the high poly Dwemer balls and pots as well. And grab the Golden Pipes Remaster. And go for General Vendors, because it's nice to make gold. I will go for both of those. We don't want those coins to be extremely expensive, balance the economy. This is the another mod we've got from Skyrim uh, Legendary Edition. Go and put it for Skyrim Special Edition. Go and install Ethereal Crown. It's a nice mod that reinhances Ethereal Crown to look like this. Go and grab the Enhanced or Veins Special Edition. Go ahead and grab Clever Charves Markraft. It keeps the vanilla Markraft in shape, but it overhauls some of the textures. So go ahead and grab the 2K for a mod installer. Go and grab Dwemer Automatons Glow Map. And go and grab the second optional file. Go and grab the participle lights for ENB, both of those. And also grab the main file and the optional file to make all of the Dwemer creatures to glow. Go and grab the Dwemer Tech Glow Map that also makes some of the Dwemer creatures to glow in addition. And also go and grab the patch on top of it with the ENB light. And we grab the patch for this one. Go and get the El Sopa Quivers redone. Grab the second main file and the second optional file with the hotfix. Go and grab the animated mechanized lifters. We have the gemstones replacer that we are going to install as well. Grab the main file and the 2K resolution as well. So now that we've grabbed pretty much everything, go ahead and grab the main file, the secondary file, all of the three main files pretty much, and the fixes and install all of those. They will include everything. And now let's go to lots of Skyrim and download the things we need. Go immediately put for CPP patch, go for us and Dwemer patch. We have to get those one by one. Go grab the Ragnarok one and grab this one, Empress HD patch. Let's go and grab the Misc Dialogue Edits, which adds extra dialogue options. And then go and grab the more dialogue options for Misc Dialogue Edits. Go and grab the second optional file and the main file. And now we're going to grab this one here. The Dwemer Ecor Fix, Majestic Mountain Patch 2, and that should do it. Let's install all of those, and that should be an episode. Again, thank you for watching, guys, and you can let me know if you want to make those videos longer or shorter. We have included so many mods in this video, and I will do my best to put the links down in the video description. Take care, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.